Good morning. Depending on where you are, you're either having a pretty okay morning as far as temperatures are concerned, or it's pretty frigid. We're looking at a cold pocket of air where we've seen skies clear and temperatures really plummet over in our northeastern viewing area. It's 11 below in Roseau and Bemidji is at 10 below this morning. So it's pretty frigid there, but elsewhere where we have some clouds, we're not doing so bad. We're looking at temperatures that are in the teens and even some low 20s, 21 in Wapaton. It's 19 to start your day in Fargo and 16 degrees currently in Grand Forks. Now these temperatures will drop a little bit before sunrise, but still this is uh, pretty decent in comparison to where uh, things are not so great over in northeastern parts of the viewing area. In fact, calm conditions in Roseau and in Bemidji combined with the uh, clear skies and that's where we're running into some problems with those temperatures dropping. Elsewhere we've got some light wind anywhere from about three to ten miles per hour here in the valley. Wind out of the east, southeast, eventually switching completely from the south this morning and through the rest of the daytime hours today. And that's going to begin the warming trend with that warmer air starting to move in. We're looking at visibility that's okay, seven mile visibility in Devil's Lake. Otherwise, things are looking just fine here in the valley. And we've also got some snow moving out. We had some snow moving in late last night into our southwestern viewing area once again, kind of some of the same areas that got hit the night before, seeing some light snow last night. That has since moved on, and things are looking rather quiet now here across the entire region. We're looking at that snow out of uh, the, basically, even out of the Sisseton Hills now this morning. So here's a look at our conditions. We've got clear skies, calm air, and frigid temperatures northeast. The rest of us under some clouds with a little bit of wind here this morning. And we may, again, see a couple of flakes down in the south, but otherwise, things are looking pretty good. Now around 9 a.m., we start to see those clouds push in a little bit farther to the north and east. Temperatures start to rise this afternoon. This is at the noon hour. We see the wind out of the southeast and into the teens and the temperatures start to pick up and respond in, uh, in response to that warmer air moving in. So uh, into the mid-20s by lunchtime and soaring into the upper 20s, even getting close to 30 degrees in some instances in the southwest by this afternoon. It's going to be a gray day, unfortunately, but the sunshine won't match the warmer temperatures here. But there may be a couple of places that see a few peaks of sun in the east. Otherwise, we'll just be mild and breezy. By late tonight, the wind kicks up into the 20s to near 30 miles per hour at times, and temperatures just keep rising. We'll be around 30 degrees late tonight. Now, we want to move ahead toward tomorrow because that's when we'll start to see our next system start to introduce itself here. Tomorrow morning, looking at very mild temperatures, still on the cloudy side, but very warm with temperatures in the upper 30s to some low 40s. And we're going to zoom ahead to overnight tomorrow night and into early Friday. This is 2 a.m. Friday morning. Rain moving into the valley because temperatures will be warm enough. So, this is going to be a kind of a tricky system to forecast. If it's a little bit colder, we could see this more mix or even some snow. Uh, so, something to keep an eye out for for Thursday night and into the early part of the day on Friday. But otherwise, it's looking very mild. 31 degrees for your high today in Fargo for Thursday. Temperatures in the upper 30s, even some low 40s possible, but windy. And then into Friday, we stay on the mild side, continuing to hit 40 degrees for a high temperature with a chance for that mixed precipitation. This weekend, we hang on to uh, some mild weather for Saturday, but then a chance for some snow, slight chance, rolls in Saturday night and into Sunday. And that may cool us down just a bit, a small setback. And even upper 20s is not a setback for this time of year. It's just we will have been so warm to round out the week that it'll feel cooler. But by, right back into the low 30s again for Tuesday. So very mild air moving in. It does start today. It's going to take a little while to warm up, but we'll get there. And then by Thursday, a lot of snow melting going on. Yeah, no kidding. 42 and 40. Yeah, it's pretty warm. Take that for February, <laughs> that's for sure. Well, Wednesday means it's time for a wedding Wednesday here on the Valley Today. The Valley Today's Christy Larson will be in next to help you get started on another task in that long list of preps for the big day.